Hi guys, one of those little projects that came to mind when I was out and about uh, in Ikea in this case. In fact I did do a little video in Ikea when the idea came to me, so if I can find it I'll put it at the front of this uh, video, front of this introduction. Right, these are some sort of wood could easily be bamboo, but I'm not sure. But whatever type of wood they are, I was looking at the shape of them. They've got a bit of a slope on the back here, almost sort of airfoil shape. And the idea I had was if I stick three of them together, sort of something like that, and sand them down a little bit more, we might have a boomerang. So I'm going to drill a little hole. I've marked up a hole there, or marked up a point there, that if I put them on top of each other, they're not perfectly identical. They don't perfectly line up, but if I just drill a hole straight down through there, and put a bit of bamboo cane down through it to lock them together, and glue them, then it might work. I did something similar with some bamboo 12 inch rulers. Uh, so if I can remember, I'll put a link in the video description. Well, there'll certainly be a link in there to my boomerang playlist where I've got quite a few different ones, some that I've made and some that I've bought. But yeah. That's what I'll do. Drill a hole, put this down through it, glue them all together. I'm wondering whether one piece of bamboo will be enough or whether it will just snap. Well, we'll try it with one piece. If it snaps when I try it out, then we know it failed. And I will also say sand this down to a slightly better uh, profile round the front off smooth down the back a bit but I'll do that after I've glued it together because so I'll get this done because our dinner is in the oven and then I might go and sand it down later. All right, bit of scrap wood, that's what that's there for. Hold these together, it would be better to actually clamp them together. Just go for it and see what happens. If it all goes horribly wrong, then we'll know I did it wrong. It. Okay, so we didn't go all the way through the bottom, so we haven't made a hole in my IKEA. Uh, little occasional table or stool. Right, so that's the idea. I'll have to measure the angles to try and get it even and then glue it. That's the first uh, layer of glue in there. I might put some more in just to check there's no gaps. To get the alignment right, I just measured from that edge to the tip. That's about uh, what's that? Forty-three centimeters. Forty-three and forty-three. 
so that should be evenly spaced. And then we've got the bamboo uh, spike through the middle. I have put, so I've put some glue on there, but I've, I've probably put a little bit more on. Depends how much stress it gets when we're actually throwing it. And I'll go out in the garage now, get my sander, electric sander out. And just sand down the back edge of that bit. So say it's, it's smooth down there, but the backs, I could do a bit more there. And I'll also round off the front. All the way around. So we have the airfoil shape. We'll just see if it flies. No idea what it'll perform like. I just thought it'd be a bit of fun when I saw it in Ikea. Let's actually see what it's called. Uh, no. Made in the Czech Republic. 4028827-1 is its IKEA serial number. I can't remember how much they were. I doubt whether they were even a pound each. They might have been 50p or something. I'll have to watch that original video that I did in the uh, in Ikea when I was looking at them. That's as far as I'm going to go with it at the moment. I've smoothed the leading edge off, rounded it round and flattened the trailing edge. It's not a perfect airfoil, it's just rounded on the top and flat on the bottom. I haven't varnished it or anything like that, just in case I need to do any more sanding on it, shaping. Feels quite nice, but no idea how it's going to perform. There's a good chance it'll just break in the middle when it lands, if it lands a bit hard. But that's something to go and try outdoors, obviously. <laughs> and not in my garden, because my garden's not big enough. So that's going to have to wait until we go somewhere where I can go and throw it in a big field. We will see. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.